Meanwhile, parents, bet this wasn't a lesson in your school. The organization Planned Parenthood teaching teenagers at a California high school to choose their gender. They're using this genderbred person, kind of a takeoff on the cookie, to do it. And the sex ed class doesn't stop there yet. But is that really Planned Parenthood's business? Teaching your kids about the birds and the bees. Join us right now, Fox News contributor, Dr. Robert Jeffress, down in Dallas. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. All right, so um, somebody's got to teach the kids about birds and bees. In many families, it's the family, it's the parents. In some situations, my kids learned about it through their high school education, it's just part of the curriculum. But you say having kids learn from Planned Parenthood is a very bad idea. It really is. Look, the multitude of parents out there are trying to communicate to their children the Judeo-Christian principle that sex is a gift from God reserved for the marriage relationship. And no parent should have to worry that those values are being undermined by Planned Parenthood at a local school. Look, Planned Parenthood is an organization that gets its money from the government, $500 million last year, by doing two things. Promoting promiscuity among children like this program and performing abortions, 300,000 last year. Planned Parenthood should be no more welcomed on a local school campus than the local pervert wrapped in a raincoat. Both endanger the well-being of our children. I was just looking on the Planned Parenthood uh, website talking about how if, you know, for Planned Parenthood and education on sex, and one of the things are, uh, what are abst why abstinence-only programs don't work, that flies in the face of your particular message. Also, these are, we've got from a questionnaire some of the questions you were <laughs> supposed to ask uh, as if you were consenting for sex. For instance, do you want to go back to my place? Is it okay if I take off my pants? Doctor, these yeah. are things that uh, are on a questionnaire for 13 year old kids. That's right, and talking to 13-year-old girls about water-based lubricants. Look, here's the liberal mindset. The liberal mindset is, we're going to indoctrinate your children in promiscuity. If you want to teach your children differently, you can do that at home. We are conservative parents. We are in the majority. We ought to rise up and say, no, if we are going to talk about sex in the school, we're going to talk about the only safe sex is sex that follows God's principle of, of sex within marriage. If you want to teach your children differently, you can do that in your home. Sure. Uh, the parents, many of them apparently did not consent to have their children taught by Planned Parenthood, which, you know, it, it's not a government agency. It's, it's an organization. And as you uh, depicted earlier, that's what uh, you feel they stand for. But, okay, so parents weren't asked about whether or not it was okay. But now they've said, now that they found out, doctor, that this particular high school has Planned Parenthood doing the sex ed, they said, you know what, we'd like you to come and present to us what you're telling our kids. And so far, they won't do it. No, no, they, no, they don't want to do it. And you know what they say is, here's the liberal uh, strategy. Well, you can always opt out of a class like this. Right. No teenager, no child should have to opt out and be ostracized and be labeled a prude. Uh, we shouldn't be teaching these kind of liberal values in the school. When Planned Parenthood starts talking about water-based lubricants to 13 and 14 year olds, they are giving their implicit approval for sex outside marriage. And look, if a child, a 13-year-old guy, is saying, do I listen to my parents or do I listen to Planned Parenthood, guess who the child and his raging hormones are going to listen to? This is totally out of place in the school. All right, uh, doctor, thank you very much for joining us today from Dallas. Thank you.